Making money like I'm in Laying in my eyes like shrimp Making this shit that I'm in Coming with the freshness we are at Goodwill now, and I'm just going to go in and see what I can find. I've actually never been to this Goodwill. I've been to the one near me multiple times, but they just don't have the best stuff and best variety. So I really wanted to try somewhere else that I thought might have some more options. And it is rainy now, so probably won't bring my camera out until I get in there. Or maybe just when I go to put clothes into the dressing room, we can kind of do um, a little preview of each item just to see how it is. And again, I'm going to focus on items that are transitional and are more staple, neutral colors. We'll say that now and then I'll end up getting a bunch of colorful items. But just trying to get items that are more essential and I can wear with a lot of things so I can get a lot of use out of them. Okay, so catch you soon. It's like I forgot I was fine, let you treat me any kind of way. Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate. You couldn't see everything and stay. That that I wasn't afraid to say, yeah. If I gotta choose me. I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I was yours I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going I'm going back to who I was before I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah Gave you all that you asked of me You like the view from behind But you won't make an ass of me That's why I'm saying goodbye Hopping out my feelings, get to the money Gotta keep it a hundred Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me So don't come looking for me I'm not gonna have it You forgot but I have it You was just a no habit So I'ma disappear like magic I'm not gonna have it You forgot but I have it now you wish that you had it But all I gotta say back is If I gotta choose me I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me No, I can't be attached to you no more So I got one item at Goodwill, a pair of jean shorts that I'm actually going to try to thrift flip when I get home. And now we're going to go on to Plato's Closet to see what they have here. So yeah, catch you in Plato's Closet. What is up everyone? It is Brittany and I am back again and this time we are going to be doing a realistic thrift haul. And what I mean by realistic is I picked up two items. Now when I watch a lot of these videos I see people coming back with a whole load of clothes. Don't get me wrong, it's good that it's second hand, it's affordable, a lot of these pieces are super cute but I think sometimes, especially film a video like this there's the pressure to just buy items to have bigger a bigger amount of content but especially in before i i used to get trapped into the idea that like oh it's only four or five dollars for this dress like i'll probably wear it let me get it it's super cool if not you know it was only four or five dollars 
but that is definitely how I ended up accumulating a ton of items I did not need in my closet so essentially what I tried to do this time when I thrifted was I went through the items I tried them on and if I didn't really really like it I didn't get it went to Goodwill and Plato's closet and I was you'll even see in the footage of Goodwill in the dressing room when I took some foot in the mirror that there was a dress I at first said yes to, but I ended up not getting it just because I took a better look at the item itself. And I also didn't used to inspect the items as well as I do now because I used to think, oh, I can wash out any small stains or stitch up any imperfections. But the truth is I often, if there was an imperfection when I got home, like let's say there was a little tear or there was a hole that would need, take some time to fix, I would end up putting that aside and not wearing it and it wouldn't get the wear and it would take me so long to even stitch it up or eventually I would just not stitch it up and I would end up redonating it. So in order to avoid that, I inspected the items more closely, even the dress I almost wanted to get. I saw that there were already loose threads on it and I looked at the brand and it was the Shein brand. So I knew if there was already um, loose threads and the item looked almost knew that the item probably wasn't gonna last and I just decided against it even though it was cute it wasn't gonna be an item that lasted me a long time so I would rather save that money and invest in a dress later that I love just as much but that will last a lot longer and that the materials are made of a better quality so with that said I ended up getting one pair of jeans um, a jean short that I'm actually gonna try to thrift flip in this video because I really like the way they fit. They were just a little bit too long and I've been wanting to work a pair of jean shorts that I could cut and maybe even distress a little. We'll see how risky I get. And these are these ones and I folded them up now but I will go ahead and unfold them just to show you how long they are. And it's just really thick Levi's fabric and I actually these were in the women's section but they even look like they could be men's because they only have the waist mark but I'm not sure. Actually, I think all oh, Levi shorts, women and men kind of look like this. But either way, I like the way they fit. And they just need, they're a little bit tiny big in the waist. But I kind of like when it's a slightly bit baggy so that you can go ahead and belt it. I think it looks nice. And the fabric's just so thick and good quality. And then these were, let's see, I think they were $4. Yep, so these ones were $4.19. And this other shit I got was from Play-Doh's Closet. And it's kind of just a, th it has that vintage band tee feel. And it says 75, it still, is still alive, American tour. And I really got this because of this threading detail right here. I'll go ahead and get close so you can see that. So you can zoom, or focus rather. This one was only $3 at the store, so I thought that was a good deal. So, all right, my dudes, right here we have our nice little pair of thrifted shorts. As you can see, again, thick, thick, thick fabric, so we're going to cut through these. And for this, I'm going to just be using a couple items. So, first off, I just have some scissors, and these are not fabric scissors. You should probably use fabric scissors, but again, I'm not a professional, so... Okay, then I'm just gonna have a Sharpie again, probably should use a fabric marker. We don't got one of those. A lot of people probably don't, so this is gonna work just fine. So we got our little Sharpie. Got a Sharpie. Oh, um, usually I think for something like this, you should try it on and mark it while you're on it or pin it or something. But because I know these are like extra long, I know I need to start off cutting off a good bit of fabric before I even think about how, what length I want. So to do that, I'm just gonna start by folding them over so that we have that even construction. So I'm matching up the waistband and then I'm also gonna be matching up the bottom section. So let's see if we can get that in the frame. So they're folded over in half and they're just equal at the top and bottom so that we don't have any uneven cutting. I know I at least need to cut off a few inches without even thinking about it. Cause let's see up there, you know, you probably also need a straight edge and since i do not have a ruler with me we are just going to use this beautiful school textbook okay oh no i sharpied it by accident i wonder if we're going to go up that high eventually well that probably will be folded over hopefully okay well anyways we're going to just start by taking off this much fabric hmm 
So they're going, can you see, can you tell I'm not a professional? <laughs> okay, the slant of this. So we're just measuring it by Jane Eyre book and then we go this way. We'll start cutting off this much. I know we're gonna need more than that, but this is a good starting point. So I'm just gonna mark dash the line. with me and see what love unfurls. Cause girl, I bet you love some tugging on them lovely curls. Hold up a week up after that, believe we started dating. My heart was racing, but never felt my time was wasting. My mind was chasing, ain't no debating. I'm feeling you and trying to get together, figure out what to do. Even after some disasters, we were making it work but never did i ever think that you would do in the dirt stay cute while you smile in your brand new skirt just happy that we've been together and we never get hurt so say girl why you kick it with them guys all dumb if you ever got some worries one with me all done change the picture that you paint until the paint all gone because i'm just falling for the artist like your name on some like wonder if you spent the winter all alone yeah because i dump these fall i dump these Got my little kind of stitch bag, kind of just miscellaneous. And if you were really a professional, if you really want to go above and beyond, you would get a thread this color. But I didn't. And I assume not most people or a lot of people wouldn't just have that color thread. So we have either a brown. And again, it really isn't going to matter because it's going to be mostly hidden in these stitch lines right here anyway. And apparently I can't. Oh, there. We finally got it. We got it, babe. Oh, I messed it up. The worst. Okay, it's getting through again. Yeah, there we go. Don't, the hard part is not losing it. Well, the hard part for me. Okay, so we throw the needle. You can see my crusty nails. Close up. All right, so needle, thread. You've been feeling me and I've been feeling you. Wondering on what we really trying to do. Thinking every night. Laying up in bed and wonder if it's true. Hoping that the pain I'm feeling won't it too. Got me feeling like... about to be the moment of truth with all this so I'll be right back and we'll see how it goes okay okay I think with this shirt too our hem job thriving so maybe we could just so like let's say we wore like a cropped shirt all right everyone so this is the finished product here these little cropped jeans again we got that nice hem and personally i think i'm going to be wearing these all the time they're nice and um, i like a nice baggy fit for jeans and I hope you guys do all have a beautiful day and you make today great and you've learned a little something about thrifting and flipping. Catch you on the flip side. Woo!